there. Um, welcome to Sons of the Forest. Now, this game is crazy. This game is absolutely insane. And I, I have PTSD. So I, I need to change. I need to do. A, I need to. We need to do a custom game. Okay. Uh, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a custom game. Um, I've been playing and playing and playing and trying to figure out uh, exactly how um, I'm going to sort of play this. So we're turning enemies off. I can't be doing with that constant onslaught of mutants, uh, having to kill mutant babies, all of that sort of stuff um, isn't really my bag at all, so I'm turning them off. Uh, but we're going to make the game interesting. So enemy health, I mean they're, they're off, but even when there is a forced enemy amount, uh, now you see the, yeah there we go, right. Even when there's a forced enemy amount uh, that I have to sort of take down, I want it all on low. I, I'm not here to kill zombies um, or mutants. I'm here to sort of survive on the island in a J.J. Abrams style. So, a little bit less button mashing. Uh, right, so the environment will be spring. We're going to start in spring because I want to enjoy the game <laughs> before it gets cold. Uh, season length is long, day length is long, and it rains normal amount. Survival damage is definitely on, otherwise it wouldn't be a bloody challenge. Uh, survival damage hard. Let's put it on normal. Uh, I just want to enjoy the game. Uh, consumable effects. Uh, what's that? Enable damage effects. Well, they're, they're, they're on anyway. Right, cold penalties on. Reduced food in containers, yes. Reduced ammo, yes. Containers don't refill, yes. Uh, world pause, yeah, we need a pause. Um, players trigger traps, yeah, I want to make that really annoying. Um, and building resistance, normal, yeah, that's fine. Right, so that is my custom game. Uh, I'm just setting out my store, guys. We're playing it my way. Um, because that's possible. I think if I couldn't turn off the mutants all the time, I probably would uninstall this game and never play it again. I cannot kill mutants over and over and over again. It just it it, it it's not my it's not my game. Um, now, if other people like that, that's great. But the reason why I'm saying all of this at the start of this video. Um, is because I want you to. I want you to know that this isn't a normal playthrough. This isn't like your, your standard playthrough. Um, I'm definitely changing things for my own personal enjoyment. So let's see uh, how we fare up. So we're over the beach right now, and if you're watching this, I don't believe that you haven't seen this already. So we are moving it forward. Right. So we'll start because this is where the story really starts. Now who invited you here? Press. With this shiny little gilet jacket. What's that with you? Is that? Mm, anyway, let's just pick up my stuff. Let's figure out what we're doing. Kelvin, you're going to have to wait a little bit. Right. Let me do that. Let me do that. Did we get that as a one? Yeah, we did. Right, so now we've got to press M. And have a look at my little device. Great battery power on this thing. Um, clickety-click. Right. And then 
Press B. Open up the book for the very first time. Tells me how to do stuff. Great. Um, yeah, all right, Kel. Get to you in a minute. Just gonna pick up all these stones. Because I forget to do it when I'm looking around. And then I don't have any by the time I need them. So I'm kind of wanting to max out. Pretty quickly on those. Leaves. I have leaves. There are deer around, but I did put wildlife on low. So, because it is a little bit... You know, there's a lot... There's a lot of animals on this game. So... Making that a little bit more realistic. So there is there is still a challenge. It's now a survival challenge more than a kill freakish mutants challenge. Which I'm into. I'm alright with that. Plus, you know, you've got to find hatches and caves and stuff. I've, I know that there's a, um, a printer. I know that there's a sled. I know that you can get a shotgun. I know that there's a lady called Virginia that hangs out soon. But normally, I'm, I'm too sort of, sort of wound up by one of the mutants and stuff. So let's just play the game on chill mode. This is a chiller. Just a little chiller, mate. There we go. We've got enough stuns. Right. So reduce stuff as well. Oh, he's dead. Okay. More big stones, please, because we need those as well. Sticks. Very useful early game. All right, Kelv. All right, mate. Come on, mate. This will do it. There we go. We got him. He is now under our control. <laughs> Follow me, Kel. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I know there are parts of the game I, you know, there are some parts of the game I will know about, but I know about very little um, about this game. Because whenever I did try and play it in the past, um, I got too stressed out because of all the, uh, all the mutants, so I stopped playing it, and then I'd go back to it again because I like all the other parts of the game, and then I'd forget about all the mutant babies, and the finger thing, and all, yeah, I'm not, you know, any of that. I'll probably still have to do something about them, but they're, all enemies are on low, we're not here to be... Um, fighting mutants. That's not why I'm here. Right. So we've got some, we've got some gear. Um. Where's the helicopter? There's a cave over there. We need to find a spot. We need a spot. Oh no, there's, there's stuff. It makes me think I should check this whole waterway. <gasps> that's that's a thing. Oh, what's that? A knife? I don't. Ah, oh, oh, that's a dead. Oh no. 
It's a dead squirrel, but I I ain't going near that. Um, because I don't know how long that's been there. But I've got I've got a cow prod. Nothing here, is there? No. Wow. Okay. Well. Um, we need an open space. Ooh, I wanna, I wanna kill those things, but I don't think I've got anything to kill them with. Shot, won't it? All right, oh. Cool. I will open this box too. Circuit board. Okay, well, this is a nice spot, but. We're a little bit enclosed, and there's a lot of trees around here. Which. means for cover. Um. There's a big lake over here that I'm sure lots of... Ah, oh, man. Gross. Um, lots of people will know about this lake, but I don't. I don't really remember playing here at all. I think I've only really done a little bit on the coast and that's it. Right, this is quite a nice, pretty place. We could do a little, do a little base here. Seems a little bit difficult to build on. What else is around? There's a big lake up there. And then there's that over there. Big lake over there. I'm tempted to go and find that lake. Or up there even. That's, it says cave. Alright, oh, so there is a cave there as well. Uh, we're not going in, into a cave just yet. Hello. That was crazy. As if they do that. Right. What's... What's... What's that? It's beating. It's like a pulsing icon on the map. I want to find out what they are. They're not good. Now I know. Um, there's things on the map that I do not recognize. Right, well, okay. We're gonna go and have a look. Go and see what this is. Because I don't know what it is. Um, looks like a drone. ever uh, found one of these. So. That's a golf cart. We were up there. We want to go. I 
I suppose we want to go up to that big lake up north. So it's not no, right. So that's what uh, south west. That's a raccoon up a tree. That is so cool. No, anyway. Can we get in this? Yes, we can. Oh, this is brilliant. Right, okay. Um. <laughs> Can I? Ah, oh, I don't think I can. No. I'm gonna keep trying on that though. It's a little bit awkward. Have I have I tanked it already? Broken that. Oh wow, there's a push. There's a push. That's cool. So you and your mates, I see, right? Okay. It's quite difficult to, um, Okay. It's a little difficult to orientate yourself, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. Let's see if we can go up to the lake in the southwest. Which is along this road. Oh wow, this is great. Well, that worked. Wow. <laughs> We're going to eat tonight. <laughs> I don't want to eat it. I want to... Um... What's... What? What is all this stuff? Eat it, but I'm gonna. It's almost as though. Why can't I cut that up? Is it because I've got the wrong thing selected? There's a knife. Let's make that too. I don't understand how to yeah. Hmm. Let's get back in the golf cart. That didn't work out. I got a little I got a bite to eat at least. Do not understand that part of the game. So we're gonna go. Over here. This is really cool. I like this. Right, is that the lake that I was talking about? 
No, it's not. I'm miles away from that. We're going... Let's go to that one, then. There's another lake. Down there. Getting used to the controls. It's, um, it's great. It looks fantastic. The game looks really good. And now, I must admit, it is nice knowing that I'm not going to get cannibalized. Because that's too much for some people, and it's too much for me. Did I just kill a raccoon? I think I just killed a raccoon. I did! What happens there then? <gasps> right. Raw meat collected. Uh. <laughs> Look, I don't know why that's there. Let's not have that. Thank you. Right, okay. This game is crazy. Right. We're nearly at the lake that we want to be at. I don't know if I actually want to camp here. I just found... I, 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 I just... Because I've made a camp... Oh. I made a camp on the beach on my first playthrough. Um, so I don't want to make one on the beach. That's... You see, stuff like that is the kind of stuff I'm not interested in seeing. I just find it obscene. I, look, it's fine. Like, it's fine that people like it. I'm not dissing on anyone else. I just can't play a game with all that kind of weird stuff in it. So we're, we're experimenting. We're going to see if we can play the survival game rather than the mutant game. So this is a sort of big camp. I've got a solar panel. I didn't know you could get solar panels. So we are on reduced loot. So I am gonna... You know, try and get as much as I can out of this. There's a cooking pot there. Nice. I've never seen a cooking pot in this game before. I'm just an old Daisy player. I found that cool. Right. I think... Oh, there's more stuff here. Oh my god, there's loads of stuff. Right. Well and truly looted. And we're gonna go... set it so that if you load in again, you don't get respawn to items. So I don't know how... I really don't know how powerful that is. Like, is that going to soft death me? Probably not. I have a feeling I'm going to be fine. So... This place isn't suitable. It's too small. We need bigger... Mind you. Hang on a minute.
just gonna... Right. I wanna park up. Right, we're parked up. Leave that there. Look at that. I think this could be a really good area. This is brilliant. I'm going to build here. I'm building here. Because then they can't get me from here. They can only get me from here. This is only going to be a little base. This is like a little sort of first base. This is what I'm doing. I am building here. Right. Um... Where's Kelvin? Yeah, so I'm going to build here. Um... So this will be my first base, and then I'll do some more stuff, obviously. Because the map, the island's enormous. Look, I mean... But this is base, base, base camp number one. Uh... Yeah. What have I got? Yeah, I've got some stuff. I think we're good. I think we're good, yeah. So, episode one. We have found our place. Uh, in the survival only mode uh, of uh, Sons of the Forest. Nice one. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cool.